what's the guys, guys? We're back at the second channel, I guess. We're about, I'm about to show you a little bit about my Kawasaki Mule. Now, I have had this thing for a couple years now. When I say a couple, I really mean about 12. I don't know, guys. This thing's been through it. She's been kicking a while. Often referred to on the channel as the Trap and Shack on Wheels. Jump onto the Trap and Shack on Wheels. I got the Trap and Shack on Wheels out. Just ran into the Trap and Shack on Wheels, dude. This thing's totally rad. This thing's lit, man. We got a Kawasaki Mule 610. Be honest, I don't even know if they make these anymore, but they sure made this one. So over those 12 years, overall, how's it doing? Honestly, guys, it's done pretty good. It's only, uh, I mean, uh, it's pretty good, I guess. We've only had one problem with it. I mean, Two, three, four. They were just basic problems like changing the something that went click, 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 click. Then it changed now. It works good. But besides that, overall, I'll be honest, I'm a big fan. Like people ask me like, KG, dude, when you going to get a new four-wheeler or side-by-side -side or something? Looks like it's about time for an upgrade. I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. I don't know why everyone thinks it's time for an upgrade. I mean, I don't know what else you could upgrade to. What is better than this? Nothing. I mean, shoot far, son. Look at this thing. It's got a roll cage, tires, headlights. It's even got a trailer hitch. I mean, hot dog, son. What more can you ask for? It's got a pretty good size bed in here. If you ask me how many dead animals have been in the back of this, I couldn't even tell you, dude. Absolute ton. Got a glove box right here. Right now, it's got a few weapons in there. Something light, nothing heavy. Then up here it has like this frunk, but I don't know how to open it because I broke it somehow. Anyways, guys, it does pretty good. We'll start it up. Top speed, that's probably the best part. Top speed, 17 miles an hour. Something like that. Maybe, maybe 25, maybe. I think 24 is my max. Mmm, yes sir, listen to her purr. Sounds like a line to me. I mean, hot dog, look, it's a line. Arr. She's got four gears, reverse, neutral, high, and low. She's got four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive, and then anti and uh, differential gear lock, whatever that is. Fun fact about this thing, it really doesn't make much sense. Whenever it's in two-wheel drive, it's actually only in one-wheel drive. Yeah, 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 I know it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. In order to get it in two-wheel drive, you either click this one or this one, and then to get it in four-wheel drive, you have to click both of them. Yeah, it really doesn't make much sense at all. I will say this. I don't know what its problem is, but I have had it at a time where both those are pulled down, and I've still only got one tire spinning, and I'm not happy about it, okay? That's probably one of my biggest complaints. Sometimes it just doesn't, it just freaks out, dude. It just like spazzes out and glitches, where, where not, no, nothing spins, none of the tires. Now, as for the tires, I ain't got much of ones. I mean, they're, they're about as slick as can go. I call them racing tires, because, you know, I race this every weekend. I'm just kidding. But anyways, guys, let's hop on in here. Let's take it for a spin. I'm gonna strap on the GoPro for a second. Well, here in a second. Oh yeah, them burnouts are tasty, son. Tasty. Top speed right here. Mmm. Tell you what, guys, wouldn't be surprised if we left a sonic boom back there. Now, like I showed you a second ago, we do have slick tires. Slick tires aren't good for much, but about the only thing they are good for is doing burnouts and, and donuts in the middle of a wet field with little to no backfire or whatever. What I mean by backfire is like, I can do donuts all over the place, but my tires have so little traction that they do not make ruts. Like the grass is perfectly fine. For example. Okay, maybe I was wrong. We definitely tore up some grass. Honestly, I'm kind of proud. She doesn't do that often. But for real though, if you do come out here and it's wet, you can get some serious donuts. I've been driving before, do a 360 and then keep on going. It's pretty insane. So I'll strap on the GoPro and get a serious motor vlog going. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that didn't hit right. Ah, that didn't hit right. Ah, ah. Oh, oh gosh. Whoa, okay, that ain't good. Oh snap. We about to flip here. Carry on. Yeah, uh, we're, we're actually about to flip. And the bad thing is that, uh, well, like I was showing you earlier, my tires don't exactly have traction at all. So if if one thing led to another, it could just go sliding down sideways and flip. Now, we're just going to hope that doesn't happen. But then again, if it does, well, I, I kind of I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. See right now, Mark, my back end's already sliding out. So this may not end well at all. Oh, okay, okay. I think we made it out. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. We made it out this time. Hey, 
I mean, the mule, it's a good trapping shack on wheels, but if you try to do, if you try to go climb some mountains, you might as well just get off and start walking, buddy, because it ain't going nowhere. They named it the mule, but I would suggest changing it to the donkey because sometimes it can be very stubborn. Now I think we're actually gonna do a little bit of bass fishing real quick. One thing I do like about this, it's really good for pond hopping and it fits about one or two rods because I can just slide in any kind of reel, spinning or bait caster. I fit it right in here, then it lines up and sticks out right there. And then because it like kind of wedges in between here, it's pretty stationary. It's a very solid rod holder, I will say so myself. Also on the website, the hats right now, we got these, the boonie hats and then the actual snapback hats. I'm running a sale on them. They're like uh, $15 for a few days. No promo code needed. So if you want a hat, now would be the perfect time to do that. KendallGrade1.com slash shop or should be the first link in the description. We got some crows behind me and let me tell you, if they try to come and steal my mule, I will hit them in the leg with a stick. Let's go fishing. <laughs> And here we go guys, we're actually at the pond right now. Let me show you a little bit about what we're using and then we'll get right on into it. I'm just using like a basic spinning rod, got some fluorocarbon on it. And then I have a weightless Texas rigged yeet worm. This one's actually in pickle green. It's a color I've not used before on camera, but it is pretty solid. I mean, it's got the pickle green color with silver and purple flakes, so. I don't know, should, be, should do pretty good. Basically all I'm gonna do is uh, cast it around the edges, twitch it just a little bit, and uh, hopefully we can get something going. I saw some bass over here at this brush pile earlier today. So uh, I don't know, we'll throw it over there, let it sink to the bottom. Maybe we'll catch one or two, maybe zero. Either, oh, I just got a bite, whatever that was. Oh, there he is. Oh, snap, I don't even know if this is a bass. Oh, it's not a bass. It's just a massive bluegill bass thing. I don't know. It's actually a green sunfish. Some people call it a warmouth. I kept noticing, I'd throw it in there and I'd, I'd get really like pretty decent bites. They wouldn't be heavy bites, but whenever he bit, he would always like not have the hook in it. And he actually bit four times in a row and that time he finally got the hook in there. Now this is a weird species, especially if y'all aren't really familiar with them. It's because it's like the body of a panfish, but the mouth of a bass or maybe even a crappie. They don't really get much bigger than this. They really uh, overpopulate and they stunt ponds growth. They're not really what you want in the ponds. Most people, if you catch them in a pond, they try to get them out of there because they're very bad for ponds. And like, like I said, well, they overpopulate and stuff. I guess the biggest problem is that they repopulate so fast and then they get to about a little bit bigger than this and then they stop growing what that does is there's a lot of them they eat a lot of food they compete directly with bass because their mouth is so big but then bass can't eat them because the fish itself is actually so big so we'll just toss them in we'll name him jerry nice to meet you jerry and to be honest i've been fishing a little bit that's one of the only bites i got i think we're going to call it a day maybe it's just maybe the weather's just not right for bass but then again we did catch it on the eat worm so i don't know pickle green out here doing work son if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i want you guys to go down and comment what kind of utv atv whatever you want to call it four wheeler side by side what kind do you have go post that down in the comments and don't forget hit the like button and if you want to watch pretty epic fan mail click right up here and then right down here you can click a random playlist i don't know what it is